Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I got another interesting baseball matchup for you. At least I think it is. And uh, today we're going to have the 1955 Washington Senators going up against the 1985 Baltimore Orioles. Baseball is back. Three simple words that make you feel so much. The smell of pine tar and leather. The carefree nature of a ball game on a warm summer night. Lemonade, ice cream, peanuts, and Boog's barbecue at the yard. It's as American as apple pie. The national pastime we missed to help us through tough times. In Baltimore. So, we will see what happens there. Um, the Baltimore Orioles in 1985 were 83 and 78. And the Senators of 55 were 52 and 101. And I will be taking the Senators. So, you know, kind of a challenge. I want to see if I can get them to win. It usually doesn't work that way. I usually lose these games when I'm whichever team it is that I end up picking. I usually lose, but we'll see if it works. And the game will be in Baltimore. I think I might have mentioned that. And I think that that's a perfect spot for my face to be in. So I think we're ready to go. It's going to be Mike Boddicker going up against Chuck Stobbs. Now, if you're old school and you've been around a while, I'm sure you remember Chuck Stobbs. But anyway, we have Eddie Yost right now leading off against Mr. Boddicker. And he strikes out. So that brings up Ernie Oravets. I hope I pronounced that name right. I have no idea. And he looks like he's going to fly out to Freddie Lynn. Fred Lynn of um, Boston Red Sox fame. And here's another guy who was on the Red Sox, Pete Runnels. Loved Pete Runnels. So, so now it's Baltimore's turn at bat since the Senators got no runs. And we will have Ellen Wiggins going up against Chuck Stobbs. There he is. With his glasses on and everything. And let's see what happens there. And it's an out. Eddie Yost, I think, made the play. Yep. We got Lee Lacey. Go up and up. And he hits a fly ball to Oravets. And that looks like a fly ball. Fly out. And it is. And here's Cal Ripken Jr. And it looks like he's going either shopping at the Gap or shopping downtown. And it's off the wall, so he went shopping at the Gap. We've got Eddie Murray up after him. And he hits a ground ball to Runnels. And that's an out. So Boddicker goes back out to the mound, leads the Orioles back out on the field. And we've got Mickey Vernon again. Another great blast from the past for all of you. Washington fans and he is out and then you got Roy Seavers up and he gets a single that's the first hit of the game that's really the well it's the first hit of the game for the uh, Senators and now you got um, Carlos Paula up and we don't, apparently, we don't have a picture of Carlos. We'll have to find one, and he rips a hit. I'm just going to hold the runners because 30% is not great odds. And so now you got runners at first and second with Ed Fitzgerald up. And he is, looks like he's out, line out to Ripken, and then uh, Valdevilzo. And that guy's name, no way can I pronounce it. So, so if you're from back in the day and you can write it out, and that might be a home run by Valdevizo. Yes, home run, three-run homer for the uh, 
downtrodden Washington senators, and now Juan Delis is look like he's out, and so Chuck Stobbs takes the senators out to the field, and he's going to face Freddie Lynn. And you can see Freddie Lynn's got his, uh, he's got his Boston hat on in this picture. So uh, what happened there? Out. Gary Renneke up. Gary Renneke, of course, was at one point on the Yankees because we got a picture of him on the Yankees as proof. And uh, he looks like he just got walked. So now Mike Young is up. Mike Young. I, don't remember, I mean, I remember that face, but I don't remember the guy. And now Floyd Rayford up with two down and Radicke at first. And the Orioles down by three. And he rips one between in the hole between first and second and puts runners at first and third with Rick Dempsey up. Stobbs would like to get him out get out of this inning, but it doesn't happen. Looks like maybe it's going to be a double. We will throw for the runner. And uh, they don't get him, so they, that second run did score. And that brings up Al in the Wiggins. Chuck stopped up getting his butt handed to him right here. But that's going to be an out, so the Orioles struck for two in the second inning, and we go to the top of the third. With Eddie Yost up and Washington leading now 3-2. And he hit a bouncer down to first base, and he's out. Oravets is up. And Oravets is out. And that brings up Pete Runnels. And Pete Runnels hits the ball in the gap, or in the hole, not in the gap, but in the hole between first and second, and gets aboard with a single. And that brings up Mike Vernon. And he is going to walk. So now the Senators have another little mini rally going. Unfortunately, this time with two outs. Although maybe the last time, it might have been two outs the last time. Roy Sievers is up. And he is lining out to Ripken. So the Senators take their slim 3-2 to two lead to the bottom of the third with Dobbs pitching into Lacey. And Lacey... Looking like he is out, and he is. And that brings up Cal Ripken Jr. And he gets on by an error by the uh, catcher. So Eddie Murray is up with Ripken aboard, only one out. And that is going to be a nice deep fly ball that might just be a home run and put the Orioles ahead. No, no, it's caught at the wall. Murray's got to be really beside himself after that one. And Freddie Lynn is up. And Fred Lynn hits one down the line and maybe a home run. No, it's a foul ball, so it's coming back. Stop, just barely surviving here. And he gets a ground or a line out to second base. So he got out of that inning, but... We got to wonder how much longer Stobbs is going to last here. We've got uh, Carlos Paula up to face Boddicker. And he hits what could be down the line, a uh, double or a home run. And no, it's caught. It's caught at the wall. So he's, he's feeling um, Murray's pain. We got Fitzgerald, the catcher who made an error last time. He struck out. And now Valdeviso, the guy who is one for one with a home run. And he strikes out. So that will take us to the bottom of the fourth. Stop's going out there, but you got to think he's on a uh, he's on a short leash right now. Pitching to Renneke. And he walks Renneke, I think, maybe for the second time. And now he's facing Mike Young. And Mike Young hits a deep fly ball. Is that one going to stay in the park? No, no, it's not. It's downtown. 
So uh, Mike Young goes shopping downtown and gives the Orioles a 4-3 lead. And that's going to be a ground out to Yost, and that's only one down now. Rick Dempsey up. Rick Dempsey is going to fly out, looks like, to Seavers. And that brings up Al Hidden Wiggins. And he gets uh, a walk. He gets a free pass and Lacey up after him with two down. And we're going to throw for him. He's out on a questionable call, they said, but you know, he's out. So uh, the Orioles have pulled ahead here. We go to the top of the fifth now with Washington uh, taking their uh, plate appearance down now by the score of four to three. And uh, Juan Dellis up. He's out. That brings up Eddie Yost. The third baseman. And he's out. And that brings up Oravets. And Oravets hits it between first and second for a single. And that brings up Pete Reynolds. And he is... Now he hit a foul ball that we could get to. And now he's flying out to Fred Lynn. It looks like... And I am going to go to the bullpen because we are, I think we got to say that we're done with, with, uh, we've seen the Chuck Stobb show and it isn't really, doesn't look like it's going to be a long running show. We're going to bring in, um, not Abernathy. We shouldn't really bring in Abernathy. We should try to win this game. Shouldn't we? <laughs> uh, Dean Stone is... Is he a reliever? He is. All right, we're going to bring in Dean Stone to relieve Stobbs, who you have to admit has not been very good. So Stone is out there to pick a Lacey. He gets him to ground out. Hopefully, no, it was an infield hit. Lacey gets an infield hit, and now he's not followed by Ripken. That's going to be a ground ball to Runnels, and that may be a double play. No, it's only one out, and Lacey is actually safe at first, or at second. So Eddie Murray's up, and there's a ground ball out. And that brings up Freddie Lynn. And Freddie Lynn lines out, looks like. And so that, they get out of these, they escape that inning allowing no runs, but they're still, the Senators are still down by a run. And so that brings up Mickey Vernon. And Mickey Vernon, is he going to hit a home run here? Is this a home run? Did he leave the park? No, they caught it at the wall. Went over the wall a little bit. So Roy Sievers is up with an out. And he hits the ball between first and second, as so many people have today for Washington. And that brings up Carlos Paula, who's one for two on the day. And he's going to hit one down the line. And I'm going to hold the runner because it's only 40%. This Washington team was not fleet of foot. Fitzgerald is up, and he strikes out. And that brings up Valdivizo, the guy who has the three-run home run, run for Washington, and they walk him. All right, so that brings up Dallas. I'm going to take a look at what I got out in the... Uh... All right, Dallas is the D.O. Oh, I, can I pinch hit for the D.H.? I don't think I can. I think I lose him if I do that. And he only hit 189. Are you kidding me? You make a 189 hitter my DH? Now, let's see what happens if I do do that. Boddicker is on the mound. He is a righty who is a 1R. 
So you would think you would want a guy like McDermott, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to pinch hit for him with McDermott. Let's see if the computer, if the you know, if the computer makes me uh, put a pitcher in this in that hitting spot, then hey. But they got him. And supposedly nothing happened, nothing bad happened. So uh, we have uh, Dean Stone. We're sending Dean Stone back out there. And he's out. Mike Young is up. And Mike Young is going to fly out. It looks like maybe. No, it, no, it was, uh, it fell in front of um, Seaver. So we got a base hit. Floyd Rayford's up. Floyd Rayford is out at first, but advances Mike Young to second. And now Dempsey is up with two down. And Young at second. And it looks like he will fly out. So uh, we get through the sixth, and now we're going to the top of the seventh. Down by a run. Boddicker still out there. Looking real strong. He's got some gas still left in the tank, it looks like. Eddie Yost walks, and that brings up Oravets. And Orovets goes the other side of the plate as they bring in Tippy Martinez to try to shut the door. And that is, uh, they get the force at second on the fielder's choice. And so Pete Runnels is up with one out. And he looks like he's going to ground a second, maybe into a double play, and it is. So we go to the bottom of the seventh. I think I'm going to go get Dean Stone out uh, of the game. Possibly. Depends on how bad this bullpen is. You have to believe it probably was pretty bad. Um, how about Bob Porterfield? He is a righty who's a 5R. Yeah, he's going to He's going to come in and pitch. So Bob Porterfield's on to pitch to Alan Wiggins. Still the Senators only down by one run. And there is an E1. There's a single and an error there. And so Wiggins goes to second with Lee Lacey up. And the runner scores because that was a base hit. All right. Um, so Cal Ripken's up. So now the Orioles are ahead now. Five, five, three, three. And Porterfield just getting his butt handed to him. Uh, we're going to stop the runners. There's runners at the corners. Uh, <clears throat> I am going to... Let's see. Position defense. Um... I'm going to bring the infield in. I don't like to do that, but, uh, and it does not help. Might have even hurt. I'm going to stop the runners. So, yeah, Porterfield just, he just came in and threw gasoline all over the fire that was raging. And that might fall in front of Seavers. Yes, it does. So, all right, let's go get Porterfield. He, obviously, he didn't want to pitch today. Um, I am Now I'm going to bring in Ted Abernathy. I mean, I wasn't going to do that before when we were in a close game, but now, I mean, what have I got to lose? So Ted Abernathy's coming on to pitch to Gary Renicky, who greets him with what might be a double and probably is. And we're going to... Yeah, not good. I can see why the uh, why the Senators only won 52 games. It's it's readily apparent. Floyd Rayford is up. And that is two down, and that brings up Rick Dempsey. With second. 
got him, so we're out of the inning, but now it's the top of the eighth, and we're down by six runs. And they've got their closer on the mound. And, of course, back in 1985, there really wasn't such a thing as a closer, or if there was, a closer could go three innings, two or three innings. So Roy Sievers is up. piece two for three on the day with a run scored, and looks like he maybe, maybe he has a single. And it is a base hit for him. But, I mean, there's a real uphill battle here for the Washington team as Paula hits what looks like a fly ball to Renicky. And now Ed Fitzgerald's up with two down. And that's a ground ball. So, Abernathy back up to the mound, down by six, bottom of the eighth. Vernon, looks like he'll make the play. Lee Lacey's up. He's two for four on the day. Of course, all of the most of these Baltimore hitters, I think, are having a good day, I would say. And then Cal Ripken's up. And he grounds out. And that takes us to the... Top of the ninth, we got to have six runs right here. Valdivizo leading off against Martinez. That's an out. McDermott is up. Mickey McDermott. And he might have a single. No, Lynn is under it and makes the play. And so that brings up Yeti Yost down to our last out. And he gets a walk. So that brings up Oravets. We need six runs. Let's see if we can get it. Oravets with a base hit. 70%. I'm not going to do that because we need a ton of runs. So, I mean, you don't really want to rely on a whole bunch of Washington hitters to get hits or blocks, but that's what you have to do. And it didn't work. So we get the box score here. And uh, it was not pretty. Stobbs went four. He allowed four earned runs and one homer. Stone went two and allowed nothing and was great. And then Porterfield came in and just to really torched the place down to the ground. And he actually pitched no innings and gave up five earned runs. So that would be a nice ERA if we were doing a season with these guys. Which I'm maybe I'll do that. That would that would be fun. Wouldn't that be a fun project to do a 1955 Senator season? And then Ted Abernathy pitched two, gave up one hit, no earned runs. But uh, Boddicker wasn't exactly stellar. He pitched six, gave up seven hits, three runs, walked three, and allowed a homer. But Martinez, he was stellar and usually is. So that's going to be it for me. If you enjoyed this, look for more of them because I do this a lot, just random games from the past. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. you got nothing to lose, doesn't cost you anything, I don't have any commercials, so you're getting just my video, you're not getting, you know, Oreo commercials or any of that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, but that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.